Joining us now is the chairman of the board of, for the Jewish Agency of Israel, the co-owner of the Minnesota Vikings, and the son of Holocaust survivors, Mr. Mark Wilf. Uh, Mark, your father was one of the founders of the March of the Living. Exactly 35 years ago, he walked on the same path that you're walking today. How do you think that he would feel if he was with us today, seeing thousands of young people from all over the world marching here? I think he'd feel proud and hopeful. I think he'd be proud of the young people coming here and learning, although it's a somber visit, and of course the tragedy, and we remember the six million Kadoshim. But the education, the, the learnings that these young people are going to get here, and to learn where intolerance and hate uh, can bring us, and to see so many thousands of young people. He has so many survivors that I've gotten to know over the years, despite what everything they went through, so hopeful. And I think these young people represent our future and our hope. And to take the memory of what horrible things happened here and to build a better future for future generations. You know, the scourge of anti-Semitism that ultimately led to the tragedies that occurred in this place um, are still not only present, but they're even on the rise in some countries. Can you tell me what the Jewish Agency for Israel is doing to combat the rising tide of anti-Semitism? Well, I think we have to be as strong as a people. Uh, the Jewish people in the state of Israel must be strong, and the Jewish Agency for Israel represents that. Uh, Anti-Semitism is very much on the rise. And for instance, on college campuses, we have a program of shlichim, of shin shinim, of young people from Israel coming to our campuses, advocating for Israel, teaching young people in America and around the diaspora all over the world uh, how it is to stand up and be proud to be Jewish and to be proud of the state of Israel. And those are lessons that uh, we hope can be uh, shared throughout uh, the younger generations, people here learning uh, what happened and to, to share that intolerance, bigotry, prejudice can lead to horrors like this. A short time from now, you're going to be lighting a torch at the main ceremony of the March of the Living. Can you tell me what message you're going to be conveying when you light that torch? Well, the conveying uh, is, you know, in the days of the Shoah, um, there was no state of Israel. There was no one, my parents and, and the people that, uh, the, the refugees, the survivors, and of course the six million Kadoshim that were lost. There was nowhere for them to go, nowhere for them to turn. And I think we have to be on the 75th anniversary of the, of the state of Israel, be proud of where we are as a people now, thanks to the fact we have a strong state of Israel, and to make sure we stay strong as a people, and be thankful places like where my parents came, the United States of America, where there's freedom, where there's democracy, and the proper values are encouraged and flourish, that we have a chance to, 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 to build thriving lives for the future. And the state of Israel, thank God, is strong and will continue, God willing, for years to come. Mark, thank you so much for everything that you do for the Jewish people and for being with us here today.